At the beginning of your studio course, all students have to submit and sign a student behavior contract, which includes safety information about some of the tools and techniques that we'll be going over in these videos. Whenever you see a stop sign on a tool that looks like this, you must complete the training video and supplemental assignments that are associated with that tool or technique. You are also given a safety training tracker, which will list some of the tools and techniques that need extra safety training. The training shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes, so you should be good to go for the rest of your studio time. After you've completed the safety training and any supplemental assignments, you are free to use the tool during studio whenever the need arises. There are three very important safety rules to remember when you're using any of these tools or techniques. The first is to stay focused on what you are doing. Don't be doing two things at once. Don't be fooling around. Stay focused on the task at hand. You will be safer and everyone around you will be safer as well. Which brings me to our second rule, which is to be aware of your studio space. There are other artists at work in our studio and it's important that you know where your tools are and how you're using them to keep everyone, including yourself, safe in the studio. The third, which is sort of a thing we do all the time, is to make sure that you store your tools correctly. Put them away, clean up your space, don't leave things lying around that are hot or sharp that other people could inadvertently trip into or walk into or pick up while cleaning our studio together.